Hello YouTube, I'm finally going to start the DLC that I got with the Season Pass from ages ago. Um, I heard this one kind of sucks, but Gladio is like my favorite character out of the four boys, so... Or at least best was Bondo, so... We're going to compi and see how this uh, DLC actually plays out. I've just heard that the story sucks. I actually know nothing about the gameplay. Maybe it's fun. <clears throat> and I've not touched this game in ages, but my, uh, my manager at work, Brad, if you ever stumble upon this, has been playing and talking to me about it recently, and that put me back in the mood for the game, so... That's where I'm at tonight. Got a couple hours to kill. Might as well uh, play something that I've heard takes a couple of hours. I don't think it's too long. I don't know. Maybe a little buyer's remorse on the full season pass. I didn't need it. I could have just gotten the basic game, but I was pumped when it was coming out. And I did enjoy the basic game a lot, so hopefully this is all worth it. We shall see. I forgot how freaking, like, long this game takes to load. I've been playing Dark Souls recently, which is like so-so on loading time, but gets a lot faster than this. I guess I also just installed it. And the loading bar was halfway, never mind. But I actually like that. Keeps the story grounded on the four dudes. Begin the combat tutorial? Sure. Is it different than the normal game? Striking and blocking his body. Always differs from attacking and defending his Noctis. Moving and using items. Circle is strike. Feels about the same. Press square to block incoming attacks. Block just before an attack lands to the top of the enemy, creating an opening for a counter strike. You can also hold square to focus and block attacks, but Gladiolus will be vulnerable if he loses his focus. What does that mean? I see the focus meter on the bottom. Come on. Two. Three. Four, five. There's a little rage meter, too. Okay, that's a little interesting. Glaive arts. When his valor is high, press triangle to perform one of his glaive arts. Gladiolus has several arts in his repertoire. The higher his valor, the stronger the art he can perform. What is his valor? Blocking attacks and taking damage increases Gladiolus' rage. 
Strikes will do more damage as his rage builds. Honestly, that did not feel that different from the normal game. general guy who was helping you early on in the first dungeon. Be right over. Well, hopefully I get to kill a dragon like that. Send countless expeditions, but all of our efforts have afforded us no rewards. And no survivors. Except for you. You undertook the trial, and you made it back alive. Barely. Let's move. Did you tell your friends why you were taking off? So he glad he was gonna do something stupid. Didn't want him getting all worried about me. <laughs> Knowing your pride took a beating. Controls. It does come back to you pretty quick, actually. Kind of funny how that works. It's a cool environment. Triggered that. Oh, 
I just wasted my whole valor. That was the most unnecessary crouching animation. Only way to go is down. Don't tell me what to do. Ooh. taking much damage. Gladiolus tries to block a guard breaking foe's attack. His shield will shatter and he will take damage. I'm guessing that's what him being red means. Oh, nice. Again? Alright. <laughs> oh my god. This is silly now. Don't cut it. That was actually really easy. Core left to the party. Actually looks pretty cool. Power, <clears throat> and you're gonna give it to me. Is that so? They simplified a lot of the designs from like ten. When characters have random bootstraps everywhere. Don't get me wrong, ten was like maybe one of the best Final Fantasy games, but I think this is supposed to be a fight that I'm like guaranteed to lose. Cheesy, but I can dig it. So the Blade Master. He's a master of blades. What? Are you expecting something profound? All kinds of potions. I feel like I should actually take one.
There's gonna be a campfire or something straight up ahead. Rest up while you got the chance. Oh my god, I just wasted that. I do appreciate, actually, that their mouths, like, move with the dialogue, even outside of cutscenes. <laughs> and of course he's eating cup noodles. The Blademaster isn't here to train you, he's here to test you. He won't go easy on you just because you joined the Crown's Guard. So, no mercy for newbies like me. Tell me more. So what? The weak aren't worthy of serving as shield? In his eyes, the weak no aren't shit. worthy of living. All of them are fools, punished for aspiring beyond their station. I was a fool back then, too. And I was punished. But you weren't killed. Maybe you weren't worthy of serving a shield. But he must have seen you as you know worthy of My manager put a good, good put Maybe it a good way concerning Kingsglaive, he said, but it works in this game too, where the faces look amazing and super detailed. But just something about the the mouth does not match up with the face. Just barely, and because it looks so damn good that that slight dissonance is just really jarring. So with all the dudes, it is a lot harder to time blocks. Like, I'm used to Dark Souls luring out one dude at a time, and then being able to block and dodge because you're focusing so hard on one dude. Um, this one, it's just kind of chaotic. cool though I like the underground setting and like those like really spiky archways that are above ground too like I dig it it's just like a really cool geological feature that they thought to make up for this and I can't think of anything like that in real life. Shit's cool. Nice little attention to detail, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I got another high potion to make up for stupidly using mine. Hmm. What's this? 
control chamber. The hand holding stops here. Good luck. Okay, if that's all tutorial, I can appreciate that. That's a cool way to get a new sword. Or not. Receive the soul's power. Okay, right here. Our power goes with you now, young warrior. Who the hell was that? First of the Souls Trials, so you can now perform blocks capable of withstanding the mightiest of blows. Okay. For the shield of the king, oh, the this is cool, actually. It's gonna repeat the exact same fight that you started with, but now you're gonna have all kinds of cool little powers and the experience to make it through. The first trial may have ended, but many more await you on your road to an audience. So you're gonna actually feel powerful when you go through and get to that blade master guy again all right i can take that please tell me this heals me my father never undertook the trial of gilgamesh did he no you want to know why I do. I mean, it can't be because he was scared, right? Not of the trial. He was scared of failing as leader of the Crown's Guard and as shield of the king. He couldn't leave his majesty alone, weakened by the wall as he was. After all, what good is a shield with no one to protect? What about you? Worried about leaving your majesty alone? A little. But I'm gonna do what's right for me. Like my father did what was right for him. I'm excited to go to Tokyo Game Show this year. Last year they had a lot of Final Fantasy 15 stuff going. Um, and some actually like pretty good cosplays just walking around. And I'm very curious to see if that continues or if uh, what game is next up there. Because what's big in the States is not what's big here. Pretty view, though. Some little flying thing down there. Hmm. Up. 
no. So these sections have just like no gameplay. The whole point is to just like take in the world, look at the little pterodactyls, and like check out the glowy spinal arches. Like, I've heard that as a complaint, but like, I don't know, I think that's cool. Take a breather, just take it in. <clears throat> and that's a big part of what, I mean, not a big part of what games are about. There's nothing that games in general are about. That's one of the many things games like to do. And this one focuses hard on that world building and not so hard on a coherent story. Oh. Pull crumbling columns from the ground and swing them to topple even the fiercest foes. Okay. So I'm supposed to do that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it's got the column's health bar at the top. Okay! I want to take down this guy. Come on. Another bullet. Two more. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, that does like no damage. Okay. I'm so slow with this thing though. Also, you feel the smack when you do this, like... Alright. Nice, nice. And none. How do I... Are there any options for, like, a, that glitched out? Equipment and stuff. Another trial chamber. And another chance for the warriors to impart their wisdom. It won't come easy, though. You'll have to earn it. Okay, so I get to lay the smack down with some pillars. How many moons I should be? Since our last visit, far more than I can count. <laughs> Let us see how our latest challenger will fare. Ooh. Go grab the other pillar. Come on back. This is so fucking slow.
Cool monster. to start over. That makes this really easy. Venture forth, young warrior, bearing our hopes and dreams. Who the hell are these souls? I also wonder if games companies just kind of like... You can now perform the Maelstrom Glaive art when this battle was high. Okay. The shield of the key must safeguard our future. I wonder if games companies like... Sell the season pass and then just have like that homework kind of lingering over them instead of actually putting an effort like half ass it down the road because everyone already bought it. Like, I don't know. That's how people work, just procrastinating. Like, you took on an assignment, now you gotta do it. Maybe half ass it because. That's what a lot of these season pass things feel like. Of course, some games like The Witcher do it amazingly. Um, even the Zelda DLC, like, there's a lot of cool cosmetic stuff, and the trials were well done. But it was not that much for, I feel, all the, all the time they had. say the the animation on your sword swings are pretty damn long so you, if you actually want to block you got to be careful but unlike dark souls if you get hit it doesn't really matter so blocking is not a big deal they kind of screwed the pooch with the combat design if they're gonna go for like i don't know i just had someone compare it to dark souls earlier or like explain that's what they were trying to do and now I can't stop comparing the two. But to keep that original combat system does not work with the Dark Souls y kind of game because every move's got to be very much intentional. And the hold down circle to attack kind of system doesn't work like that. Now, without being able to quickly switch into block or like make each chop very intentional. All of them are fools, unprepared for the dangers lurking within. They all meet with the same fate, as will you. I don't think so. 
Think what you may, but I know otherwise. The loosest you call home is nothing like the loosest. Oh, I love the witty response from the soul. Everyone loves an underdog. Some kind of trophy for this. Another pillar. That's the thing, the pillars feel like they're designed to be cool, not to be designed to like actually useful mechanics. link into each other so easily. Oops. I'm getting hit so many times and I'm just not being punished. And I will say, without the teleport, you feel real slow in this game. Oh wait, that's where I came from. Because in the main game you can just chuck your sword and go to the other half of the arena, which was nice. Really good for transport, but this feels a little clunkier. Might as well pop a potion, I got so many. Will you stand tall? <laughs> Even when your flesh fails you? Or will you fall to your knees? Up the pillar. Nope. Now it's working. I think I gotta be on the right side of it. Oh, wait, item. 
I wonder if these carry over into the main game. Because it is nice to have like a hundred extra little potions. Oh, can. Yep. Rest up when you got the chance. Hold on, I got a text. Anything urgent? Uh, nothing too urgent. Never thought I'd make my way back to the tempering grounds. You said it's been 30 years. Were you as immortal then as you are now? If you want to know, I'll talk. Like, these little choices are... I guess, like, the no option is to... Uh, what was he like? I don't remember much. To give you an out if you don't want him to sit through the whole conversation. He pierced my heart and peered right into my soul. It was like he knew my every move even before I did. Try as you may, there's no fool in those eyes. <laughs> We'll see about that. But it's odd to to integrate it like that the same way over and over into what's supposed to look like a choice. It should honestly Easy just before, like, do you want to talk? Must both muscle and metal both find me tender. Ah, oh, fuck it. Maelstrom. <laughs> Alright. That all of them? That's a cool monster. We haven't seen that yet, have we? Inan Daru. I'm getting hit by some. Straight to the next enemy. Yeah. 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 Yeah
them you were prepared to witness the shield of the chosen Next one, last one. Be true, for the shield of the king must deceive none, not even himself. Yeah, easier said than done. Gonna be some kind of giant. The same old giants that are in the main game. The shield is bold, shrinking. Oh no. Waste not the arsenal that you cast. It's so silly you can Phoenix down yourself. Is a little harder. Try this. trial awaits you. Is the final trial killing the Blade Master, or is it another one of these little soul grabbies? In 
Mora envelops his blade, allowing him. Okay. Nice yeah. If you've got what it takes after all, maybe. But it ain't for you or me to decide. True. And the Blade Master is a more formidable foe than any. <sighs> Time to take a load off. Save up. Interested in me? I mean, you were a lot younger than I am, and a lot brasher too, if you can believe it. Wouldn't listen to a single word anyone said. I thought I was invincible. No one could stop me until he cut me down to size. I was cast out in defeat. My hubris lay bare for all to see. You really are immortal, they said, and it stuck. It's rough. Still, you made it back alive, something no one else has ever done. And I respect that. Why would they just send countless dudes in here to die? Let's go. I mean, I guess you get power or whatever. Come here to die, have you? But like. You look to die again. You amuse, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. Who's? He who traversed these caves some thirty years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes, he proceeded unfazed, eyes ever forward. Yet he proved powerless before the general, cast out in defeat. would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. How come? Because one aspiring to the role of King's shield can stake his life for none but his liege. Not even for himself. Do you dare risk all for naught in return? His words stayed with me. And he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. But I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. One false step and it may prove your last. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio. I predict dying twice and this not being that hard. Last items, maybe one more Phoenix down. Oh, that's cool. All the swords stuck in the ground. Also, who's the actual Gilgamesh? Oh, Tail. No, that's Tail again. Gilgamesh was the first yeah. book ever, wasn't it? Oh, 
It's a cool looking sword I've got. Countless disappointments in the The swords are over designed, but the characters so aren't anymore. I didn't come here to die. I came here to prove to you I'm worthy. So why is the shield of the king going to the blade master? I feel shield master would be more thematically fitting. Oh, damn, I died. Um, quick phoenix. Charge is a cool sound effect. Oh, there's the scar. Actually, that final fight, you had to shield a lot, which was kind of fitting thematically if he's going to be the shield of the king, but they should have focused on that more throughout well-timed parries being the core of this. No, get your superpowers. But I'm gonna keep protecting Noct. The only way I know how. Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call. But you, having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. The chosen king should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean? And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. <clears throat> Oh, 
What is a glaive, technically? He's tall. You don't realize it took Gladio's up next to him, I guess. Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. Wait, but did his dad actually challenge him? I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his metal will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth. With mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. I wonder if my Gladio level carries over from the main game here. Thanks again. Because then I'd be crazy over level and it would explain why this was so easy. It's got all the different languages. So I'm impressed. Ignis was not in. Oh no, he was at the beginning. Brought this back with me too. Figured you might get a kick out of it. <laughs> I wonder where I put that thing. Keep it. <laughs> Thanks for a better souvenir than that scar. <sighs> You know, he mentioned he lost his arm in battle with a real hot-headed young guy back in the day. That's so. Whoever it was left a lasting impression on him. Talked about how the guy had the strongest will he'd ever seen. It takes more than will to complete the trial. You need to wield your weapon with a primal finesse. If you fail to prove your might, you get cast out empty-handed. I don't know. He didn't seem to think the guy would let it bother him. Said the guy's too old to care about material things anymore. If he's still alive. <laughs> Gladio. Huh? Is a glaive just a huge ass sword? I hope you feel more confident in light of your success today. Few men can lay claim to such an accomplishment. Not even okay, Google. What is a glaive? I didn't earn myself a badass nickname like he did. Still. Glad I went through with okay, it. Google. Volume level six. I can finally say. Okay, Google. What is a glaive? Oh, my duty. Uh, oh, it's just a sword. Okay. Well, I guess that was a special kind. Him back to his king. Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. <laughs> okay. Overall, it's fine. It's totally fine as a little DLC thing. I don't know how much it actually costs on its own, because I had the full pack, but like... I don't know, I heard it sucks, and it's not bad. The internet's just so polarizing about everything, like, this was... Like a C-, minus. like... I enjoyed it for what it is, it's fine, and the combat was actually not that bad, and the final fight was fun. I will say that. Said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, and he's haunted those halls for some two millennia, yeah. that's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arrive. You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. Give me a break! And I as well. Just because you got a shield to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. But if you do, I'll be ready. Yay, the end. Alright, thanks for watching. If anyone actually watched this, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be around with episode prompto eventually. Is this the main menu, or is this something extra?
I think this is like a trailer for Prompto. Well, if this one is a hack and slash and Prompto is guns, then I bet Ignis is going to be like an Assassin's Creed style, especially in light of the recent crossover. So. This one actually looks good to me. Also, I'm actually disappointed they cancelled the VR for, uh, 15. I've got the helmet, and I like all the little demo things. Alright, yay! Hour and one minute. Well, thanks for watching. Later, all.